Welcome to Cast Iron and Canning Jars. I'm Nanny. And I'm Chelsea. And we are so glad that you all could come by and be with us on this beautiful Mother's Day. It is absolutely beautiful here. I don't know. It gets kind of like you never know how it is out in different parts of the parts of the United States. Uh, but I want to take a minute and wish all you mothers a happy Mother's Day. And you mothers that, well, like Chelsea, <laughs> she fills in for the moms sometimes. <laughs> taking care of the children, you know, for people. So I want to thank, thank you all for doing that also. Hey, Chelsea? Yes. You got a housekeeping thing? Make sure you sprinkle or share. <laughs> Let us know where you're from. We are in Zeno High, but Mammy's originally from Morgan County, Kentucky. So mm -hmm. if we have any of those folks in here, we do have quite a few that do come on here. Yep, we do. Um, anything else? And we know that we are a little early today, but we're having a cookout. So we are going to prepare some stuff for the cookout. Yeah, so it's got double duty today. <laughs> hey, Chelsea, um, what are we making today? Um, you are making your potato salad. Oh, okay, <laughs> I'm making my potato salad. <laughs> I knew that. And then I'm making a peanut butter lasagna dessert. I was going to do strawberry pretzel salad, but a lot of times whenever I don't chill the stuff before I like do the layers, it leaks and goes underneath the pretzels. So I decided that I don't want that to happen again. So I'm making a, my mom loves peanut butter. So since it's Mother's Day, I'm making a peanut butter lasagna dessert thing. Oh, a peanut butter lasagna. A peanut butter lasagna. I'll say. Okay, well, you think we're ready? We're I not going to be cooking on the stove? No, thank goodness. Not microwave, <laughs> none of that. We're well, gonna we're going to be melting peanut butter in the microwave. Oh, okay. That, that's <laughs> simple enough. Okay, well, we're going to go ahead and get started with right. my potato salad. Now, I don't do any fancies with it. It's just a basic potato salad, but everybody <laughs> seems to seems to like it. So, I'm going to go ahead. Now, I went ahead and cooked my potatoes. I put them on this morning and cooked them and went ahead and peeled a few of them, too, so I can go ahead and get them, get, get them uh, ready to go. I do have a few here that I need to do, and I don't take a knife to mine. I just take my hands and my fingers and just pull the uh, the uh, skin off of them and uh, it's easier that way. I, I peel away too much of the potato when I'm using a knife on them so this way not much gets gets by me. So I'm going to go ahead and I've got a couple more here to do and uh, are you all making a big dinner or having a big dinner made for you today? I uh, enjoy helping Chelsea uh, you know, make the thing. So we decided today we just go ahead and make a couple of the dishes that we were going to have at the at the cookout. Um, so that's why we're going ahead a little bit early to do that. I wanted to make sure and come in. Let me tell you all what my kids did. They, well, Chelsea was the mastermind, just like she was with them taking my stuff. No, it was out mom's house. idea, but I was the put together. <laughs> they, <laughs> what they did is each one of them sent a little message to me. And it was so neat uh, to look at and to, to hear. And Corey said, Mammy, he said, come in here. He said, for about nine minutes, sit down. I said, i got things i got to do. He said, for nine minutes. Oh, I said, okay, I can do that. All right, now we're going to go ahead and start cutting them up. Hello. Hey, and, we're live on. And I don't, don't do any fancy thing. Just no, go ahead and... Cut them like this, and then they come out in little squares. Now, a lot of folks like them with mashed potatoes. Now, I, I have tried them, and I, they're good, too. So, if you have any leftover okay. mashed potatoes, why, well, they work just as well. And then, remember the potatoes in the, with the jackets on them that we made last week? Why, well, you could use them if you have them left over. So, it's just really easy to make a, a good potato salad, for you know, and it's easy to eat. And I go about it. Chelsea say, don't touch your hand, Mammy. I won't. I've been doing this for years, so I, I'm very careful. Now, you know what happens, or it happens to me, when I'm cooking my potatoes, and when I'm checking them to see if they're done, some of them, if I touch them, the skin just bursts on them. You know, and so it leaves an opening. Well, quite a bit. It sometimes comes right in two, and, you know, and I can take it off like that. But it's, it, they're just you know, ready to be taken care of because they'll just burst right open. Now I'm going to go ahead and cut this like this. She's trying not to cut her and hand. Yeah, I'll, 
I'll be easy. Be easy to do that. Now, I don't, it just depends on how many you got coming as to how many potatoes you use. Now, I've got right at a five pound uh, bag of potatoes. Now, do you know what my grandpa says whenever you make mashed potatoes? What's that? Is that you make one potato for each person and an extra for the pot. Well, now there you go. <laughs> that's a good rule of thumb. <laughs> I'll have to that's, how, yeah, that's how he knows how many potatoes to do for mashed potatoes. Oh, okay. Now, that was, that's a good rule of thumb, Chelsea. Well, I left a little bit of skin on that one, didn't I? You can set that over. You're my helper today. I'm your helper. You can set that over. Okay. I'll set it over here. Okay. There we go. Those nutrients in those might help your plants out there. Oh, well. You can dump those on your flowers. Oh, I kind of told you that. I'm just pretending. <laughs> <laughs> I thought she knew what she's talking about, didn't nope. you all? She said to put those tater skins on my plants, that might, those nutrients might help them. And I asked her how she knew. She just, just was repeating. It just sounded them. good. Yeah, it just sounded good to her. Oh, this is our, our first potato salad picnic that we had. I made it last year a couple of times. Folks. And actually, this was one of the first recipes we ever made on our show three, almost three years ago. Oh my goodness. You know what? Uh, this is just something that, that uh, you can do and it's relatively quick and not real hard, you know, to do. And you can make it ahead of time. That's what I like is being able to make stuff ahead of time and get it made. But I didn't get there this time around. Chelsea, uh, we just made up our mind what we was going to do yesterday. Mom said that, she, that I'm trying to be smart like her. <laughs> hey. You better watch it. It's Mother's Day. Uh -huh. You didn't all hear that? <laughs> Chet, Bonnie said Chelsea's just trying to be smart like her answering the question. You see, she's not here. She's, hasn't she's at home. Yet. <laughs> she's at home. Oh, I'm we not. have a first time watcher. Oh. Welcome. Good. We're glad to have you. Yeah. Now, I've got all Idaho bakers. Is She's from is. Oregon. Oregon. Well, welcome. We are in Ohio, so we're both O states. Yeah. <laughs> well, huh. I'll go from one end of while and then the other end. There's, I don't think there's a right way of doing it. I can remember the day when I was, boy, oh boy, I wouldn't have cut them like this for nothing. I was really, really out there. I wanted everything just so-so. I might air everything. And then my house, I wanted all my colors to match and everything like that. Now, I, I'm a little bit like that, but I went to the Golden Land down in Lebanon, Ohio. We were there for a meeting, and they gave us a tour of their uh, hotel part. And that, their rugs didn't match, their bedspreads, their curtain, nothing matched. So I come back home, and I said, now listen, if those folks can make the money they make and nothing in their bedrooms match, I can do the same thing. So since then, I don't get all excited, not real excited about things. I just kind of look and... She's not telling I, the truth, guys. I, <laughs> now, am I as picky as I used to be, Chelsea? No. Oh, thank you. That's age. <laughs> you grow with age. Okay, here we go. I believe we're just about there, guys. Just about. I always tell them, we ain't going to just eat potato salad. we got a whole bunch of other stuff. So I don't need to make a wash tub full. Well, huh, I thought I had it. These little pieces are down there. Okay, here we go. What kind of potatoes do you guys prefer for your potato salad? I know this is just my, my choice. These are russets, aren't they? Uh-huh. No, they're Idaho bakers. Oh, they're Idaho bakers, my yeah. bad. For years, I didn't know the difference, but now that I do, I try to take care of them. Do you know that some people make um, potato salad and they mash their potatoes for the potato salad? Yeah. Yeah. I, I've had some. It's good. It's good. Okay. I think that's it. Yeah. And Joyce said, looks like we got a wash tub. <laughs> it's not, a, not as much as we usually make, but yeah, it's pretty good size. Okay. And then I have some boiled eggs. And I just do them the same way. Just cut them up. And again, 
again. I don't don't do the no frills thing. I just kind of hold them in my hand and chop them. Do up. You know what mom would do? What? Get a plastic bag and put them all in it and squish them up and then throw them in. Oh, is that how she did it? That's the way she did it. Huh. Well, that sounds like a pretty good idea. She mashes them completely down. Well, that's what we do whenever she makes egg salad. Oh, oh well, okay. And here we, I want to know, I got a little egg in there when, when I uh, do this. We, we took potato salad to the homeless shelter last, the end of last month when we went over to serve supper and the folks just absolutely loved it. But then I always put the eggs on top. So they'd come up and ask if they could have the eggs on top. Um, they liked that. Several of them did. You guys probably do them pretty similar, I would say. And then we're going to try to measure. Do what? You're going to try to measure, right? Measure what? Your stuff. Oh, Lord have mercy. You know I don't pay no How many eggs, eggs you got there? Uh, well, I have got uh, 11, 10 eggs here that I'm that I'm cutting up here. Someone said they squeeze in their hand to chop them up. They there just grab go. it and squeeze it. Yeah, that would do it. Well, these were fresh eggs and Lou, my cousin is here from Kentucky. And she said, now, you want me to peel those before the show? And I said, why no? I said, she said, well, they'll just tear all to pieces. I said, well, if they do, they know we're real, you know, because we don't rehearse anything. So. Anyway, she peel, ended up peeling them, and they were just as neat as they could be. But I put a handful of salt in with them when I started cooking them. But now I've had times when that didn't work, guys. I I hate to say I'd love to say it works every time, but it doesn't. But this time it did. These were some fresh brown eggs that Chelsea, no, that Bonnie, she gets them from the country for, for us, and they we don't them. have we don't have chickens anymore because we're afraid they're gonna get eat because we yes. got. We got foxes and... Yes. I miss my chickens, though. And during the winter, my chicken house roof, well, it had a little bit of a hole, but got to be a good size hole when winter and the snow and everything started coming on. So I've got to have my roof fixed. But I'm still worried about the raccoons and that eat them so bad around here. And But one lady, one of our viewers, and Lord forgive me for names, guys, um... But she was sharing with me about some <laughs> different kind of uh, uh, fence that you could get. And I've got it written down in there somewhere. So when I get ready to have my chickens, I'm going to save that one, Chelsea. Okay. Why don't you save that Have one? my chickens. <laughs> Better watch it. <laughs> Let me go over there and wash my hands. Okay. Okay. She's going to wash them hands. Yep. <sighs> get the egg off of them. Alrighty, now I have got one medium onion. Don't, don't, Corey, close your eyes. One medium onion. He won't onion. eat it. Oh, Lord, that's right. I forgot. <laughs> anyway, and I cut it, not real coarse, but I cut it coarse. And I'm going to put that in there. There you go. And then... Are you done with your knife? Yeah, I'm done. Okay. I'm going to put in my mayonnaise first. Okay. How much mayonnaise are you going to put in? I will probably use this whole jar of mayonnaise. But it's not a whole jar. It's all, it's all but probably a half a cup, probably. Because I like mine to be moist. I do not like dry um, potato salad. I like it to be real moist. Chelsea, would you get me a bottle of water, please? Sure. They're saying, what, Manny? What do you want with bottled water? I'm going to put it in my, my mayonnaise jar so I can swirl it around and then put it on in here and not lose any of it. And just Chelsea, pour it, put a little bit of salt and pepper. A little more. A little more. A little more. Let me see. That'll probably do it. And I just put it in there and shake it up. That'll get the rest of it out for me. And besides that, it'll give it a little 
Moisture? More moisture, yeah. There we go. Just pour that on top. There we go. And then here's this. No, and I can, no, Chelsea. No. That salt shaker. I, let me see if I can get it open because I don't want to have to stand here all day and shake it out. My hands just are not what they used to be, but they're pretty good, but not what they used to be. And I'm going to put in probably a cup, about, oh, a total of about two tablespoons. But, whoa, Lord have mercy, if I put that in there, it'd have been nothing but salt. There, Chelsea. <laughs> there you go. You can have that. Let me wash my paws off again. She making messes. Making messes. Ooh, someone said rinse it out with pickle juice. Oh, yes, yes. No, I never thought about that. But now she's going to. <laughs> no, I'll, I'll still use my relish, but I'll do that. Try that on another round. I like that idea. You want to uh, peel those, Chelsea? Sure. And then um, I need a bowl to, to put the potato salad in once I get done. Okay. Um, we have a bowl up there, the blue, oh, big blue bowl. I'll get it. Whoa. I gotta be stronger than this to be able to do that. Well, there we go. Put your pepper on. Now this is this is a sweet. I don't usually use this. I keep it on the stove for Chelsea when she comes or anybody else that wants pepper. There's this our pepper. Do you want me to get you regular pepper? No, that's fine. That'll be enough. Okie doke. And then I'm going to put it like that just for a minute and get my uh, get my spoon here for my uh, relish. Now I'm using sweet pickle relish, although a lot of, sorry about that guys, I got to get my spoon. I thought I had them all lined up over here. Um, I'm going to use sweet pickle relish and some people use sweet pickle. Some use dill, and I like it actually with both. And when I'm making ham salad or something like that, I use uh, the dill with ham salad. Some people, again, like that with sweet. Now, there is, a, we're going to guess to make this, Chelsea. There we go. I think that may be a half a cup. About, do you think it's a half a cup? Maybe a little oh. more, three-fourths cup. Maybe, yeah, about three-fourths. And just a little bit to grow on. How's that? There you go. Thank you. And so what we'll do then is start mix, mixing it up here and going from the bottom and bringing it forward. Bring it up so that you make sure you get all of it, all of it um, mixed together. Now this spoon I can hold down tight down to the spoon itself. And stir it pretty good. You have to get you a little spoon because you'll have to taste it. Mm -hmm. healthy. If it needs, now, I don't use mustard in mine. A lot of folks do use mustard, but I don't. Uh, I don't use it in mine. I'm, and though as I get older, I'm I'm liking mustard a little better. I might have to try it sometime. My mom put mustard in hers. I remember. But I never did care for mustard, but as, as I said, as I've gotten older, well, I um, eat it. I like it on fried egg sandwiches or a fried bologna sandwich like that. Looking pretty well mixed, Chelsea? Yep. Can you come taste it? And it's nice and moist, so when it absorbs into the potatoes. Oh, look what a pretty little fork you've got. Good. Is it good? You yep. sure? Yep. Okay. That bowl, I think, is too big, Chelsea. I don't think it is. You don't think? Nope. Okay, what do y'all think? Think this bowl is too big for this? Nope. Okay. Chelsea says no, and I said yes. So we'll see what we do here. Let's you want me to help you? No, I got it. Uh-oh. I might be in a little tad of trouble, you reckon? I reckon. <laughs> <laughs> you reckon, huh? Maybe is it too big? Maybe I haven't got it all in it. Let me do it. <laughs> too small. No, I'm just kidding. No, it's 
Oh, well, it filled the bowl really good. You were you were close, Chelsea. You were right. What? You were right. Huh. Listen to her, you guys. Did you, you guys hear that? And it was on live video. <laughs> well, that's one thing. If I can't admit when I'm wrong sometimes. Okay. Well, that looks good there, Chelsea. Now I'll take these eggs. You need a knife? Yeah, I need a knife. Let me wash my hands again. She just can't stop washing them hands. I, I can. I got stuff all over. There we go. There we go. Stop it, water. Okay, let me dry my hands up a little bit here. You got my knife? Not yet. I'm getting it right now. How's this one? That ain't worth a snap, but I'll use it. Okay, now I, some people pe uh, slice them this way, and I have a problem, because I lose my yellow when I do that. So I just slice them around, and I start off my little white pieces in the middle before I get to my yellow. I just kind of stick them here in the middle, and then, depending on how big my, my potato salad, and then I, my bowl is, I start to put them around the potato salad. And there we go, just keep cutting them, putting them around. There's me another little white piece of it. Is there a paprika, Chelsea? Paprika, yes, there is. Okay. There. Oops, put that there. Now, huh, I didn't get any yellow with that one. I didn't cut it deep enough, did I? Okay, here we go. Now, this is one of those times, guys, that the old Gail would have not put this one in there without a yellow head. <laughs> I'd have took that out and redone it. But I'm going to let it go this time around. So, then we've got one more egg here. Chelsea? Oh, is that your name? Your name's Gail? That is my given name, yes. Oh. My my grandkids call me Mamaw. Mamaw. And most of, all but one of my great-grandkids calls me Mammy. And Sophie calls me Mamaw. So, but I started that because I didn't want to confuse the kids with their Mamaws. So, I just thought, I'll take the back seat here and I'll become Mammy. Which all works out well. Works out well. Okay. And then here we go. we got... No particular design. We just have it all together there. And then we have paprika. And I'm going to put a little tad of that, sprinkle it around on it. Where's my sprinkler? Oh, I took that off. Y'all see me do that. And all I needed to do was flip it up here somewhere. There we go. All right. Then we're going to just dust a little bit on. Just to make it a little bit pretty. And there we go. There we go. And that is our bushel of of uh, potato salad for to, for uh, later on today. A whole bushel. A whole bushel. No, five pounds of potatoes. <laughs> okay. I'll, I'll cover that, Chelsea. What do you, do you need? I'm gonna, yes, okay. but I'm, yeah, I'll get my stuff down there. Chelsea's coming on first. Now I'm going to cover that and put it in the refrigerator. Well, we're going to do a switcheroo here, y'all. All right. Now I'm gonna make my peanut butter lasagna. I'm gonna start with one of the layers because it's gonna be since it's lasagna, it's gonna be layers. I'm gonna make sure that you guys can see. You need me to help see. you, Chelsea. What no. do you need me to do? I'm okay right now. I can keep going. Okay. So I've got a package, the big package, like five point some ounces of chocolate pudding mix. Empty it into this bowl. And then I've got three cups of milk. I'm going to beat this for about a minute, and then I'm going to set it aside to thicken a little bit. For just a minute. And I'll set it aside to thicken while I mix the rest of it. Yes. All right. So I'm gonna set that 
I'm sorry to think it. I'm just going to leave the chocolate on the beers when I'm doing this. It'll okay. be fine. It'll mix right in. It will. <laughs> so now I have a block of cream cheese that is softened. And I have a cup and a third of powdered sugar. I'm going to whip this up real good. Start it slow. So that I don't have a dust cloud here. A dust cloud? No, I'll bring up the speed. You're doing pretty good there, Chelsea. This is another layer of our lasagna. Okay. But we're going to add uh, like maybe half of this tub of cool it. Maybe all of it. We'll see. Uh-huh. <laughs> we'll see what I decide. All right. We'll start with a half. Of a tub of it. We'll see what it looks like. I'm that is sure whole, pretty, Chelsea. I'm adding the whole tub, y'all. Thank you all for our happy Mother's Day wishes. And same back to you. Okay. All right, I'm going to fold this in to my cream cheese. Now that's the cream cheese? Yes, this is the okay. cream cheese layer. All righty. No, I've never had. Have we had something that has cream cheese and uh -huh. Cool Whip mix? I'm actually going to whip it up. Oh, okay. I'm going to hold that for just a second. Sure, I'll hold that. Don't In other it. words, I can't lick it. Okay, then. No. <laughs> I won't. Oh, look at that. Oh. Sorry, guys. You're making an awful lot of rack. Uh oh, look at the hearts. I love seeing those hearts. That is pretty and glossy. Mm -hmm. I suppose you're going to get all that off of the beaters so I can't lick them, right? You can lick them. Oh. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> there you go. Thank you. You're welcome, Mammy. All right. Now, I'm going to beat another layer, mm. if you want to hand me that. That is delicious, Chelsea. Um, so, I've got, real quick, I'll show you this. So I've got a 9 by 13 pan, and I've layered some uh, Nutter butter. Nutter butters in here, and i got the family size pack, so that's what I use, and I'm using all of them. So lay those, and I've got the rest of them in this bag. Can I beat it with this? No! Okay, what can I beat it with? <laughs> I don't know, but not that. Huh. Hmm. This. No! <laughs> she is bad. Here. All right, I'm going to beat this with the potato mix. all my anger. On this with the tape masher, I'm just gonna crush them up a little bit so that they're all in little pieces. Whose name is that one over there? What? Whose name is that one on the oh, end? Oh, I've got some. You've got you're beating it harder. Oh, I've got these all have names. <laughs> so name your nutter butters when you beat them. No. Did you hear me? Huh? So one of them's Mammy. Oh, my goodness. I'm just kidding. All right, that's good. Here's your potato masher back. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. All right, now we're going to start layering our lasagna. So we've got this. The next layer. Will you start the microwave for like 30 seconds? Sure. No, like 20 seconds. Okay. Um, first layer is going to be our cream cheese layer. No, second layer, I mean. That cream cheese tastes absolutely delicious in that mix. Thank That's you. what I was asking you. Did we have it? That uh -huh. This is actually what we put in the strawberry pretzel salad. Oh, okay. Yep. Okay. So we're still technically doing some of the strawberry pretzel salad. Mm. <laughs> and I'm actually going to smooth that out with a spoon. It's easier for me. Oh, this is rice. If anybody saw this, I, I got it there recently. I haven't had a chance to take it out. Somebody said, <laughs> food's full. Then it does. The rice will, if you get it loose, you just have to clean it out. I didn't have a chance to. 
All right. She's got to take a toothpick and push it down in. I know. <laughs> well, I take no. I take a knife. I'm just using my spoon. If I had an offset spatula, it would be better. But Mammy doesn't believe in that. Do you, Mammy? Not since I quit decorating cakes. <laughs> I'm just... Now the offset... Hmm, you're saying that, and I think I've got one somewhere. Do you? Mm-hmm. I'm just... I want to reach over and hold those down. I know. That's why I'm trying to hold them down. Because once I get this on them, they won't move around. Uh-huh. There we go. And then I can really smooth it out. Oh, that looks good, Charles. Now, how long does it have to set before Just you can serve it? A couple it? hours in the fridge. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, we're going to mm. have it in there for about four hours. Yeah. But you can make it the day before. Oh, okay. Like I said, I love all those things that you can uh, make ahead of time. Yeah. I've gotten past that getting up and getting it all done in one day. All right, so there's one layer. That is beautiful. Now we're going to work on our next layer, which is our pudding layer. And I have it over here to thicken up. It's nice and thick now. I'm just going to put it all on there. What were you going to say? It's, oh, I see it. Never mind. Oh. I figured it out. Okay. Now that was just the chocolate pudding? Chocolate pudding and um, milk. Okay. Spread that out evenly. Over That's going to look beautiful when it comes out, Chelsea. Yep. Yeah. To it's going to be layered like a lasagna. Mm -hmm. You'll see all those layers. Now it doesn't matter if it's 2% or whole milk. Mm -mm. Whatever mm -hmm. milk you prefer. And if you want to do sugar free, you could probably make this sugar free. Mm hmm. I would Without think. the cookies. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Now the next layer <laughs> that we're going to do is a just plain Cool Whip layer. Plain Cool Whip. Plain old Cool Whip. Yeah, that is going to look really good. And I'm sure taste really good. I like peanut butter will be real good. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. Chocolate. That would be your mother. Yep. All right. Now I've got another tub of Cool Whip here. Put the whole tub on. You know, you could put that in a decorating bag. And, and decorate the top. Yeah. yeah. But then you're going to put those on top. Yes. So. So really, it wouldn't be beneficial maybe right. to do that. So this is still a little frozen. We're just going to work with it. I tried to get it thawed out in time. Mm -hmm. That looks good, don't you, Elsie? Thanks. It's a full pan, though, too, isn't it? It is. I wonder if Becky's making us a dessert. I don't, I don't know. I've seen that. Yeah. <laughs> Becky, if you're watching, what are you making? <laughs> <laughs> There you go. Now that was nutter butter cookies on the bottom. Mm -hmm. the, like a cheesecake cream cheesy layer on the next yes. one. Yes. And then chocolate pudding. Pudding. Mm -hmm. Then cool whip. Mm -hmm. And then you put on put your crushed up nutter butters on top. Mm -hmm. And then we're gonna put some peanut butter on top. Too. And then peanut butter. Is it after that or? Yep. Okay. Now I've got my crushed up nutter butters here and we'll sprinkle these all over the top. And so it doesn't have to be finely crushed. No. The good chunky pieces are yeah. good. Yeah. <laughs> Excuse me. Yes, I can, Diane, I can eat that. I can eat. 
some of that. What? She asked if I could eat that. Yeah, mm -hmm. I can eat that probably without too much problem. Let me get your... Yeah, you can go ahead and grab the peanut butter. Yeah. butter. Don't want to waste any of these cookie crumbs. Nope. Watch burn your fingers. All right. And now I've got a half a cup of peanut butter here. And I melted it down. And I'm just going to drizzle it right over the top. Oh, that looks great, Chelsea. If you had some chocolate syrup, we could do that too. Do you have any? Yeah. No, honey, I don't. I think we had that question the other night. We did. Mm. We're getting there. Should I do something to get this out? Mm. Yeah. I think it'll be fine. Yeah, I got it. Okay. There you go. Your famous spatula. Your mm -hmm. famous spatula. Yes. Just gonna drizzle this the rest of the way. There you go. Fancy, Chelsea, Patricia says. Mm -hmm. There we go. Mmm. That looks really good. Then we're just gonna let that sit in the fridge for about four hours but you can do it overnight maybe two hours could be enough and then we'll just serve it from there yep that looks did right. you have anything to share today mimi yes i did mm -hmm. yep you want to go with me? i will I'll put the recipe on right after the show because I don't have to eat right after the show. Yeah. <laughs> okay. What I wanted to do is move the chair out of the way here, first of all. <laughs> you know, I know I do this every week. I don't know why I can't get that all together. Wanted to share with y'all. Bobby brought this in and I said, oh my goodness, do I remember these. And when, when I was growing up, this was one similar to this or like this one was hanging in everybody's kitchen because it was made out of, I believe it's a plaster of Paris, but it's your, this one particularly has a pear and an apple and some strawberries, but they had all kinds of vegetables and fruits made in um, this design. It had a little hooker on the back that you hooked it up and hung it on your wall, but that brought back a lot of memories when you brought that in, you know, of them in the, on, in the houses. Like I said, lot, just about everybody had one that are all my friends did. And I just thought that was so pretty. I'm sure a lot of you all can remember uh, seeing these or having one of them when you were growing up too. That I just thought, hmm, that's pretty neat to share. But this, this next few things are just extremely special. And that is Madison went garage selling with Paul, which is Bobby Ray and, and Grammy and Vicky. And uh, she came back and this was some of her finds, her plates, which I thought was odd she had plates, but if you look at it, Chelsea, you want to see if you can see these pretty good? Yeah. Um, if you look at it, you'll see why. She is a cat girl all the way, and she found these with the, the little uh, girl snuggling with her kitty cat, and that is just darling. And then this one here with the little girl, and she's playing with her cat, and uh, it's it's been drinking its milk, so she's kind of wiping its mouth off because it's got milk on it. But I thought these were really, really cute. And she said this one was her favorite. The little girl getting ready to play play ball. She's holding her uh, ball and her uh, has her mitt on. So she's got uh, got her little kitty cat sitting right there beside her. So she loves loves kitty cats. And then this, I think, is just one of the cutest pictures. Chelsea, can you see yep. this? Okay. One of the cutest pictures. Little girl with her puppy dog, and she's, I think she's feeding it something she has. But it is just the cutest thing. I thought 
these would just be so cute in a child's room. But you can tell by her hairdo and her shoes and her clothes, she's probably, I'd say, 30s, early or early 40s, the picture is, with the little girl. Oh, well, that, she doesn't look like she's 30 years old. No. <laughs> she, but that, that's the year probably that they were made. I know that uh, Bobby Ray would look them up and be able to tell us that. And then we have this one here. This one just took my heart. I just thought it was so cute. And I spend a lot of time in the corner in my life. Not so. you. I can't see that. <laughs> so I, I can relate to this. Sometimes I still want to put her in the corner. <laughs> Sometimes she... What you know, see? What? <laughs> uh, anyway, and there, she's got her little puppy there. And it's, he's standing right beside of her, even if she is in a little bit of trouble. That they're standing with her hands in the corner. But I just think that is the cutest thing. You know, some of these are just... You know, they just grab your heart. Like I say, I can relate to that one. So that is uh, really cute. So basically, that's all I had to share today. You want to share cookbooks? I, yes, we'll share. There you have to get okay. off. We'll share about our cookbooks. You go ahead and share about the apron while I'm... Okay. Uh, we have our aprons that uh, run $20. And no, that's, they don't. No, they don't. See, I don't know why she leaves me to do it. They're 16. They're 16. 16 plus shipping. Nope, shipping is included. Oh, okay. They're 16. Bless her heart. Shipping, shipping is included. <laughs> okay, bless my heart. You all hear that? Um, and it says, goozle, the throat. Goozle in American English is a noun in South Midland and Southern U.S. dialect. It's the throat, the gullet, or the goozle. And then it says, don't burn your goozle. This must be a blooper, Chelsea. Is it? Yeah. Because yes, it is. It, our logo is it's here. Upside down. And it's upside down. We have bloopers that we sell, too. Because sometimes, I don't know how Bonnie does it, but she gets some bloopers. <laughs> she gets too excited. <laughs> All right. You want to hold that one? Yes, ma'am. And these are our cookbooks. They are $20 a piece. We have the black and white one, which is our first one. And we have the yellow one, which is our second cookbook. They are each $20 a piece. With free shipping. Oh, that's right. I'm sorry. Now I got it. I'm a little slow, but I got it. <laughs> and you can send us a message with your email, and I can send you an invoice. You can pay that way with a card. Or you can write a check to Chelsea Owens and send it to P.O. Box 157, Wilberforce, Ohio, 45384. And if you need that, I'll try this. Sometimes I hold it up long enough, and sometimes I don't. So there's our address. If you want to screenshot it or write it down. <clears throat> well, that be real fast. Ooh, I'm sorry, I'm moving. Making you dizzy? All right. All right. Well, and also at the front of our page, at the beginning of our page yeah. on Facebook, mm -hmm. it, it has, has all the information. It has all the information there also. Now, and there we've got, as Chelsea said, we have some canning uh, instructions, uh, lots of good recipes. And the recipes that we got, we have in here are. Let's see, we've got Anna Lou's hot dog sauce. She's out there on our porch right now. Right, and it is good, too. Got a caramel breakfast wreath in here. Johnny Marzetti, we need to make that. Yeah. That sounds good. Yeah. Uh, Frito corn salad, baked potato topping. We got... And then in here we've got hot pepper jelly, hot pepper butter, turtle bars, all-purpose pie crust, air-fried pork chop bites, which are delicious. Um, so there are a few recipes with the air fryer. Mm -hmm. Okay. I don't use one, but lots of folks Slow do. cooker, chicken stew, all kinds of stuff. So Okay. And I sprinkled a few of my stories, stories when I was growing up through, through different places in it, too. So those are warm and fuzzies for me to uh, go back to them. Some of them pretty fuzzy, but <laughs> <laughs> not very warm. But anyway... So, we are so glad that y'all could come and be with us today. I know yous are busy, and more, some may have their families in and all that. So, but, you know, we're glad to be a part of uh, your Sunday. And not as late in the afternoon as usual, but we're glad to be a part of it. So, we'll look forward to seeing you all next week. Mm -hmm. And um, everything should be back to normal, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, good. So, we'll be back to... Uh, Four o'clock yes. in the afternoon. Unless something happens, because, you know, we just... <laughs> yeah, well, we're hoping, you know, we say our prayers. Okay, well, 
Uh, you all come back and be with us. Mm -hmm. And uh, happy Mother's Day. And be safe out there and be careful, okay? Yep. All right. All right bye, guys. Take care.